Alright, welcome back to another video of Damien's phone collection. Today we're going to be doing a bad news video. And it's about these two devices right here. The LG Rumor Reflex on Sprint. And my second Samsung Galaxy S7 in black on Verizon. It's going to be freaking epic. Now let's get on to the video. So starting with is my LG Rumor Reflex on Sprint. Um, the problem with this phone is that this phone, um, when I try to turn it on, um, it won't turn on right here. This phone won't turn on without a charger. And when I plug it in, it goes to the battery charge screen. And moments later, um, it goes to the boot up screen without a sound. And then when I touch the screen or use the navigation buttons, it reboots by itself. I'll show you proof right now for this device here. For the device here. I do apologize for that error right here in the video, but we'll show you proof on the issue. There's going to be some microphone issues in the video. So here's the LG Rumor Reflex right here. I'm going to show you proof on the issue right here on the phone. Once it gets to the battery charge screen. Here it is. Goes to the boot up screen and it will be the last time you'll see this screen. And when I touch the screen, this is what it does right here for this device here. So this device now has software issues, has bad software. This device here has problems with software and it is now useless. It became the very first slider phone in my collection to cause problems. So this will be the very first slider phone to go into the drop test. Looks to be in good condition. No wonder why this phone started having issues this year. And last but not least is my Samsung Galaxy S7 in black on Verizon. This phone has stopped working today. And this is bad news right here. When I plugged it in, it does not show anything. And the charging port just got worse as I was trying to clean it out. This phone looks to be in good condition and it stopped working quickly. I already have a black S7 in my collection, so this one will be in a different area right here when this phone goes for a drop test. And do not forget that these two phones will be featured in my June 2024 phone and tablet collection potentially. Once I get the new phone, these two devices will be in the drop test. Now remember the most important rule on Debian's phone collection. Do not tell me to fix any broken device or accessory every time I do a bad news video or short. Or else you will be blocked and we will get attempts down further and further and further every time a rule is broken on this channel including do not tell me to fix devices. The following YouTubers that broke this rule are Triac, TT Plumbing and Elevators, and Alexander Haig. Notice the two dots right above the aid right here. And what I'm writing this down in to announce is my blue it's my blue notebook here from Pen Plus Gear. R right here. So once again, the rules do not tell me to fix devices that are broken or you will be blocked from the channel and attempts will go down. Right now, I'm currently at 348 attempts for the channel. XI2024 in April Wollens' collection currently has attempts left due to the YouTubers breaking the rules and stuff. I've started attempts on two YouTube channels, this channel and my Media Corner channel right here.
enough by that. Um, once again, the bad news is that two devices broke today. This one by software, and this one by the motherboard and charging port. Now it's going to do move the bad news video about these two devices, which are the LG Rumor Reflex on Sprint and my Samsung Galaxy S7 in black on Verizon. This is my second one, actually. Rest in pieces to these two devices. Now, I'll put the rule, do not tell me to fix devices, down below in the video. This is Davian's Phone Collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you again in my next video.